to Allen and Cunningham but then when they get it there's no backup the midfield at the moment is too far away from the, the front men and here it is again being being pushed back as Falkirk are on the attack again Nesbitt through to Morrison the shot there yeah! and there is the opening goal perfection from Nesbitt and Morrison teaming up Aidan Nesbitt with yet another assist and Cal Morrison with the opening goal Falkirk 1 Clyde now. Oliver over the top Morrison goes through three men round him he needs support layoff to Nesbitt Nesbitt cuts inside the shot deflected again McGinn yeah! and there is the second goal for the Bears long overdue but they have doubled their lead and it's the captain Stephen McGinn who turns and reverses the shot back into the opposite corner Falkirk 2 Clyde nil. it looks like Cal Morrison who is eyeing up the direct strike here fully 30 yards out Morrison steps up and what an absolute belter of a finish from Cal Morrison three minutes to go the game now absolutely beyond doubt and that is a terrific finish Falkirk's number seven today's man of the match gets a second of the game and it's Falkirk three Clyde nil ball forward to, towards Nesbitt who gives chase could he hate scrambles to the far side to try and shut him down Nesbitt in the box flashes across goal Parry can only do what his name suggests and that puts it right on a plate for Romarn Burrell who makes it Falkirk 4 Clyde nil. well Neil Parry looks to the turf unfortunately he just couldn't hold that ball Taken by Gardine. Last touch by McKenna, but controls will keep the ball here. Blair Lines. It's ball into the box, head of the way by Peyton. Masson's header goes wayward. Oh, ball there for Blair Lines. He makes his way into the box. Trying to get past McKenna, trying to get past him. Trying to get in the shot, and it's a goal! Go for the shot! Back is one now to the draws. Peggy, that poor clearance, and Frizzell puts Ergy ahead. Tids it into Higginbottom. Touched off for Barjonis. Good play from Kelty. Lying now. Down the line to Cardell. Cardell crosses in. It's a good double by Barjonis. And it's in the net! Airdrie clearing for offside. I believe Nathan Austin got the final touch. The referee got over to discuss.
unfortunate there. Right. Again. Fleming lifts it forward. Oh, Forfer and Dumbarton goal was at half time. Charlie surprise, Riley surprise. cuts inside. And that's a penalty. Oh, yeah. Silly from Kyle Gervin. Can see that one coming, Brian. Gervin just pushing Did he? Riley off the ball to take the lead at Steer Park. George O'Connor makes himself big. And it will be Rovers' top scorer, Charlie Riley. Versus George O'Connor. Up steps Riley and sends it home. Fires it low to O'Connor's right. And Stranard have been hit with a sucker punch right on half-time. Yeah, half right time. in half-time, Lawrence. Stranard yeah. nil, Albion Rovers won. Now we'll see what Albion Rovers do with the, the corners, Lawrence. We were quite shy in uh, getting out of the box. Corners were disappointing. First half given the wind. So here is Riley, and he puts it right in the danger area, and that's a goal. Charlie Riley oh gives Rovers oh the goal two minutes into the second dear half. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. we didn't want Brian Martin, just what I said in the, minutes. Just what I said in the first half, put it in the danger area. I'm not actually convinced that didn't go come back in. However, we'll... Uh, oh dear. Now, he's onside, Riley's yeah, onside. onside, Bevan was off. Ten he's now got help break. in the middle. Callum Wilson's there, and oh that's three. Dear, oh dear. Appalling defending by Stuart. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. You can see that unfolding all the way up the park. Cross in, tap home by Callum Wilson. Albion Rovers cruising it at Stair Park, and so are all kinds of trouble at the wrong end of the table, Brian. You know. <sighs> the quick throw in. Yeah, so yeah, just not getting back yeah, in numbers you know, here. That, that look key, at this. That, that key, that's that that's key. another one. That key. Yes, absolutely easy street. That, I mean, that, that, absolutely been taking the that, 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 that came for that came for Gallagher's slack it was, pass. It was slack pass. Yeah, right that's what I'm saying. The skier. You know. Charlie Riley buries that. It's now Stranraer nil, Albion Rovers four. And it comes headed away at the front post. He'll get another chance to put this back into the mixer though. Headed away again. Clearance goes high, but not very far. They're trying to knock it back to the mixer. That's a decent flick down. Crash for offside, not given. And East Fife have taken the lead. Well, the manner in which it came about wasn't necessarily that pretty, but it was a lovely return ball into the penalty area. And it's Alan Trouton to give East Fife the lead. Stennis Muir over on the far side. That's Michael Miller. Cross comes in and then spins. Well, that was really bizarre. The cross came into the penalty area and then spun back outside. So the wind's certainly playing a part there. Curled effort. Oh, it's sin! Well, I did nothing. Stennis Muir on level. It was Yates with the shot. Uh, another player came out in front of the goalkeeper. I don't know if he got a touch. 